Welcome. Uh, in this quick tutorial, I will talk uh, a little bit about how to set up your bachelor or master thesis using the NTNU uh, bachelor or master thesis LaTeX template. Uh, the setup is very straightforward. We will use um, the template set up by Simon uh, and use the GitHub repository to get the sources for the template. So to start, uh, you have to go to a web browser and go to github, uh, github.com and the repository is called copcse, which stands for Community of Practice for Computer Science Education and TNU. If you go to that, to that site, um, you will see a number of repositories and the first two are uh, Bachelor Thesis and Master Thesis template. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I will use the bachelor thesis, but exactly the same mechanics can be used for setting up the master thesis. All right, so to use the LaTeX, you can have your local LaTeX deployment on your laptop, but it's a little bit cumbersome and also you have to maintain it and it's do it doesn't allow you to share your, uh, your sources with your supervisor. So we strongly encourage people to use ShareLatex. ShareLatex is an online um, authoring and editing and building tool which uses LaTeX underneath. And you can use one of those templates with ShareLatex um, to edit your documents online collaboratively with your supervisor or with you know your team members if you're working in a team. And it's, it basically simplifies the, the process of using LaTeX. So in this tutorial, we effectively are showing you how to set this up with, with ShareLatex. To set up a template, the NTNU thesis template in ShareLatex, you have two options. You can either download it and um, download it as a zip file and use it directly, or you can set up a link between a forked Git repository and the um, and the ShareLatex uh, setup. So first, let me show you how to do it using the zip um, download mechanism, and then I will do the same using the, the forking of the repo. What are the advantages of one or the other? Um, if you are working with a team, and if you often work offline, then linking up your ShareLatex uh, repository with the GitHub repository is a good way to do it um, because you can use the mechanisms of Git to keep the version control separated from the way ShareLatex does version control. However, if you always work with the network connectivity uh, and with uh, you often work with the team, then it is a little bit safer and a little bit easier just to use share LaTeX facilities for version control and for collaborative editing. So the first method is basically without linking it to the Git repository. So we go to the bachelor thesis and then we have the Git repository with the uh, template set up uh, by Simon. And all you need to do is you, you, you have to say, download the zip. So it will basically zip up the current repository and download it to your download folder, right? So it's called Bachelor Thesis NTNU Master. Um, and if I, um, yes, if I click on it, it opens it up, but we don't need to open it up. What we need to do is we want to go to our share LaTeX account and Share LaTeX uh, is uh, under www.sharelatex.com and then once you get there you can say new project and you can say upload project. So if I do that and if I select a zip file and if I go to downloads bachelor NTNU master zip and do this what I will have is um, I will have a new project automatically set up by um, by ShareLatex, and the project name will be called Bachelor Thesis and Master. You can change that name, 
So I will immediately change it to a thesis template demo. And then you start authoring it. Uh, Simon will create an additional video demonstrating how to use the template and how to set things up. I will just want to show you that it works. So I will go to the, um, the main um, document and we will find, so let's say, That's the preface, which is here. And if I say, we would thank Simon, okay? And then if I recompile, all right, I get it. It will change Eric Helmos to Simon. Ah, uh, yes, I don't need that, all right? So I can say on, and now if I recompile again, I will have a correct Right, so you can keep editing your source files and keep recompiling it uh, and you will have the PDF generated automatically following the template. And then once you're done, you can just download the PDF um, with, your, with your completed thesis, right? So this is extremely straightforward. All you need to do is you need to go to the GitHub uh, repository for your bachelor or master thesis template and then download as a zip and then upload it to your uh, ShareLatex account, right? It's pretty straightforward. Uh, I will delete this, uh, so I will mark it and say, I don't want this te thesis template to occupy my space. And now I will demonstrate how to do the link between the Git and the um, ShareLatex project. To do that, I again, I would have to say new project and I have to pick import from GitHub. Unfortunately, this feature is only enabled for the pro version of ShareLatex, and you will have it enabled only if you used uh, NTNU uh, um, account to open up the account on ShareLatex, right? So on my private account, I cannot do that. I have to change to my NTNU account, and then I can say new project, and I can uh, say import from GitHub. Before we do that, uh, let me just explain that uh, I have direct access to this repository because I'm part of the project group. In your case, what you will have to do, you will have to fork the repository into your own workspace, right? So if you click fork and pick, uh, currently I'm not logged in actually, so I will not show it, but once you fork your project, this bachelor thesis into your own workspace, then when you click uh, import from GitHub, your that repository will show up here, right? If I say search for thesis, I have um, bachelor thesis and TNU template here, and I can import it directly. You will not sh you will not see it unless you fork it into your own um, uh, repository, right? So let's say I will do this. So now. I have, um, I will have a project here called Betro, um, same as, as before, uh, Betro Thesis and TNU, uh, and I can work with it, same as before. The only difference now is that together with the history and version control in the, uh, so let's let's do that, that the same change as we did before. So if we go to uh, preface and we change Eric, Helmos to Simon. So now if I recompile it again, I will have in the preamble, in the preface, Eric Helmos changed to Simon. So again, it works fine. Correct. 
and in the history I will see that I've modified the preface at 1138 and the changes I changed Eric and wrote Simon. Now this change I can push to git, to the git copy of the, of the thesis. So to do that I will go here and I will say github and then you can push the local changes which have been done in the share latex space into the git or if someone modified the documents offline I can pull the changes from git back into the, not back, pull the changes into the share latex, right? So I have now two version control systems, one which is working in share latex itself so everybody who is modifying the documents online will be tracked using the share latex tracking features but additionally to that now we have the ability to clone the repo and modify things offline using any text editor individually within the team and then everybody who is who is working with the document online would first need to go here go to github and pull the latest changes if you forget to do that then you will end up with conflicts so there will be a version on github which has some changes but not all of them and then there, there will be a version on um, share LaTeX and you may need to merge or reconcile the two version, versioning systems, right? So if you're working alone and you're working a lot offline, then using git link from share LaTeX is, is great. It's pretty straightforward. If you're working with the team, you have to make sure that the team members know that every time they want to edit documents in the share LaTeX space, before they do that, they have to go to menu and check if there are no outstanding commits somehow done offline in the git repo and pull them. If you forget to do that, as I'm saying, you will end up with kind of um, potential conflicts that you have to reconcile when you're trying to push your changes to the, uh, to the git repository, right? So if currently there is no outstanding commits here, and if I push, the push will be and merge will be very clean. But if someone was editing that file, like say Simon was updating the template and I try to do that, then I may not be able to push before I pull all the commits. And when I pull them, I may need to reconcile some of the you know conflicts that I might have. Right? So in summary, there are two ways of working with Sherlatek. Um, one is to basically clone the um, repository into your own git space and then from the share latex uh, template uh, you, you have to go to the top level from the share latex you say new project that import from git uh, the other one is uh, doing similar thing going to the github repository but instead of cloning it you download the zip version of the repository as it is now uh, and then you um, upload it to your share latex space. There is one additional advantage of using the link to the Git repository, and that is that if you cloned the repository into your own space and Simon or somebody updates the template, you can pull the changes into, the, into your own clone, into your own forked uh, version, and then you can work automatically with the updated template, right? Uh, even though you may not be using the git for uh, tracking changes and so on, you can work with it for uh, upstream changes that Simon or some other editors of the template are pushing, so then you're working with the latest version, right? So even though you do need to remember of going uh, into the... So if I go back here... Uh, every time you do this, you go to your project, you have to check, okay, are there any outstanding changes? Um, it might be worthwhile doing the git link and forking the repo into your own GitHub space in such a way that uh, you can pull the updates or changes to the template. So I hope that explains a basic mechanisms of forking and working with the bachelor or master thesis and in the next uh, section uh, Simon will discuss more in details the structure of the um, thesis template 
and where you should put your content and how that is a template is organized and what are the facilities for you to include figures and ta tables and, and so on. So thank you very much.